That's some drama today, boys. Holy crap. So the Uber Uniques were dropping at a higher rate during the Helltides um, after they finally added Uniques being able to drop from non-Mysterious Chests. So before they could only drop from the 175 Cinder Mysterious Chests. Now they can drop from all the chests, right? So the Uber Uniques, the six rare Uniques that everybody wants, like the Shaco or the Grandfather, they had a higher drop rate from the Helltide chest than the devs intended. So what they do? They temporarily turn those six uniques off to allow them to, you know, adjust the level back down to where they want it to be and, you know, put it back in. So this was 22 hours ago that they actually turned those uniques off. They are now turned back on. And here's what the devs had to say about it. So they were had a high un, unintended higher chance to drop from the Hellfire chest. So what they do, they put them back down. 142 accounts were able to obtain one of the Uber unique items during that, you know, I think there's only like three hell types that it was, that was up before they turned it off. So realistically, it wasn't that bad. 142 people got either a Shaco or a grandfather or whatever, whatever they got, right? The other 99.99% of the player base didn't get any of those. And people are very, very upset that Blizzard's not deleting those 142 items from these people and are quitting the game because of it. And I mean, I guess I understand in a way that they feel like they've been cheated because they didn't get the higher drop rated six uniques, but Neither did 99.99% of the player base. Like, tens of thousands of people were running Helltides whenever they were up. Only 142 got them. And, I mean, people quitting over it. People, like, you know, I'm very happy for all the Barbasorks who got their Shaco. And, like, they're calling it unfair. And they want Blizzard to either do a server rollback or just go into those people's accounts and delete the Shakos out of their account because they didn't get one themselves. It's a lot of crying, and it's really sad that people think that they are entitled to these uber uniques because they didn't get them and somebody else did. It's a game full of RNG. The, the ARPGs, if they've ever paid, played Path of Exile, you could farm and farm and farm an entire season, or an entire league, because they call them leagues on, on PoE. You can farm an entire league to get the best in slot, like, Watcher's Eye. And you're not going to get it. I guarantee you're not going to get the best in slot watcher's eye that you want for yourself. You're going to have to buy it. Now, that's the one thing that Blizzard doesn't have is there's no trading of uniques and, and legendaries in this game. And maybe if they were to put in an auction house, that would alleviate that. But then there are going to be a lot of complaints that, well, these 142 people just got rich. And potentially, these 142 people can get rich. Because they could just sell their account raking the easy money off of selling an account with a Shaco and then just buy a new account. Realistically, they could do that. And some of them probably will because it's, it's really easy, fast money. And then they just buy the new, uh, a new account, start the game over because the season one starts in 13 days. So all they have to do is complete the campaign, which takes a couple hours. Um, go get all the statues of Lilith and uncover the entire map and they're good to go for season one. Nothing else before, you know, july 20th even matters unless you're going to sit there and be an eternal andy for your entire existence and not play the seasons but if you're planning to play the seasons everything that's happening right now not a big deal now on to the next news necromancers have been nerfed specifically the bloodlands build so bloodlands now only pierces up to a maximum of 10 targets and aspect of hungry blood now only fires up to a maximum of three blood lances per cast so bloodlands was literally just crashing the servers. It was causing so much lag because there was just so much going on for the servers to process that they overloaded and died. So they were literally crashing servers whenever a Bloodlands Necromancer was going ham on a pack of mobs. So what they do? They nerfed it. But the bad thing is they nerfed it. It's a temporary nerf, right? But it's nerfed to sometime in season one or shortly after. Season one's 12 weeks. Bloodlance is effectively dead for 12 weeks plus. Um, at the rate that they fix things outside of 
exploited bugs like dungeons or six uber uniques dropping more frequently than they should when it comes to fixing classes they're a little more, they're a little slower on rolling out the fixes that need to come in so blood lance as a build is effectively dead i was actually looking to make a blood lance build or a blood build of sorts to to release for a build for potentially leveling with but there's no point now just stick with bone spear blight or sever literally those three will be a better option or just go full minion until world tier four and then switch to one of the other builds because until they buff minions they're just not worth it or until you get a ring of mendel and then yeah you can play any minion badges you want because that ring carries all your damage unless they nerf that which they might who knows but that is all the news for today so we have the uber uniques now back into helltide chest spot like loot pools which is good and the necromancer is nerfed until further notice for any bloodlands builds well hardly anyone's playing bloodlands anyways i mean i'm a necromancer player and i think that the build they should have nerfed would have been bone spear considering that's the build that's out there killing uber lilith faster than any other build in the game so you would think bone spear would be the one nerfed but I do understand that Bloodlands Necromancers were literally causing a crap ton of server lag, so this is their way to fix that in the interim until they come up with an actual fix. Um, I think what they're going to do is they're probably going to revamp the entire aspect around so that it doesn't have the ability to cause that much latency on the server whenever it's doing its thing. But we will see. Oh, also, the first Whisper Cast you acquire will now grant a Nightmare Sigil. I thought it already did. My first Whisper Cast gave me a Nightmare Sigil, so I assumed that it already did. However, you can easily get into a Nightmare Dungeon with a friend or one of the uh, groups on the Discord itself, and you'll get them to drop as you're just killing mobs anyways, so you can easily get one there. Not a big deal. Nightmare Sigils, I, I salvage most of the ones I get anyways. And I guess further stability improvements that's all i have for you guys today please leave a like comment below and don't forget to subscribe happy hunting